Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are, we're actually going over one of the yellow leaders um, that we didn't do on our double upload over the weekend. Um, so we're, we're jumping in with Ginyu. Um, I'm probably just going to do my next few videos will likely be the leaders that I skipped out in the, um, the double upload weekend. Slash week. Um, and yeah, we're, we're just going to try climbing. I mean, we're, we're so close to God, I'm just kind of not focusing more on God. I'm more focusing on just, you know, mixing up our decks for, for the purposes of content and bringing the deck profiles to you guys. Uh, we are going to change this. This isn't a great hand. Um, but yeah, so I've not really been focusing on it a lot. Um, it also sucks because I probably would have been into my, uh, my God promotion games by now had we not had like our double disconnection loss through Vegeta. Um, which was completely out of our control. It was our opponent disconnecting and us getting the game lost for it, which absolutely sucks, but it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. But yeah, so we're, we're going to probably do Ginyu now, and then I think we will likely do maybe Starter Coup. Um, probably not use Six Coup. It's probably just going to be like the typical build for Starter Coup that I've been running with for a while now. Um, and yeah, just to sort of go through some of the leaders we didn't play over the weekend, and I'll probably do a Goku Black video at some point as well. Um, I enjoy Goku Black, I just absolutely suck with the deck, I think. It's so difficult to pilot, it's by far the most punishing out of all the blue decks, when, when you just, if you don't see the hand on curve, and if you don't see your Goku Blacks when you need them, your Zamasu's when you see them, you know, when you start relying on the archetype stuff and not getting anywhere, it, it's such a struggle. Um, so uh, there's even a world where I was looking at potentially building Goku Black, where we actually don't use much, if any, of the archetype stuff. Um, we kind of want to just That's use. Essentially, we just really want to use um, like just just good blue generic good stuff, right? And we can run the Zamasu's and then the six drop pretty much only, and then that way, if you know, in our turn five, we can get their turn early or our turn four, depending on you know board state and stuff. Um, you know, we can still get there, but it's it's one of those things that I haven't actually tested yet, and I definitely wouldn't take it onto the rank ladder as my first outing with the deck. Um, but yeah, so... But anyway, we're playing Ginyu. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on here, to be honest. Yeah, go ahead. It's he's, he's expending a lot of cards from hand for next to no advantage. I don't really get what's going on here. Okay, um, our extra cards are getting a bit out of control, so I think we're going to charge this. We're just going to attack into that Ginyu. We don't want him to have just recursive draw power. So we either do this or we Zarbon. Um, I think we do this. Uh, we'll attack here. We don't we don't care about giving him life right now. Um, we'll, I'd rather just keep that board clear of things. And that's a 10k, isn't it? I'm honestly tempted to put Jace out, you know. Just spend the energy marker and get rid of it. <laughs> nah, it's fine. That wouldn't have been the worst play, honestly. Just to, It is a 10k combo on field, which we don't really particularly want to see a lot of. I know that we can rest it with this, but he could literally just swing here and then combo this for free. Um, I don't like that. I never like giving my opponent just free combo power. But then again, if he just keeps swinging face, we're fine with that as well. Really need a Ginyu, honestly. We've got the Raccoon. Okay. It's going very wide. <laughs> So this is a 15, right? He's going to get free combo power here. Um, we're going to just go with a 5. We're probably going to have to spend some cards from hand to protect that, but if we want to Raccoon into Ginyu next turn, if we draw the Ginyu, um, we need this alive. Yeah, we'll go Zarbon.
And plus, if we keep this alive, we can swing at his board in return. Which is what I kind of like there. Uh, right, so we have another good new, not ideal. Let's just charge that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is attack here, and then we'll rest that. We'll take the life. That's fine. Fine by us. Uh, I kind of want to attack the leader first, actually, uh, just to get the draw before we do the flip. Because um, if we can draw into the Ginyu, that would be ideal. But we'll, we'll swing 15 and 15 here, we'll see what he does. So we draw in a Sorbet, which is complete ass, that doesn't help us. And then we will awaken, we untap one, we'll just play the butter. We're probably going to have to do the extra card with that energy. We probably just want to dig in a little bit and see what we can find. Um, we're just going to swing for 20s here. Which he takes, happy days. Uh, we're also just gonna, we just wanna do a full board clear pretty much here. We're in no hurry to awaken him, at least for now. We can probably do this twice, honestly. I don't mind using the, um, the energy marker. So I think we're just gonna do that now. Okay, so we have our Ginyu for next turn. And then we can just pass. And then next turn we can start to go really wide. Um, you know, we have our another, sorry, not another, we have a Ginyu, uh, we have three JCs, we have Butter, like, we can go significantly wide here, um, which might not be the worst play, honestly. That's a problem, though. That card is a huge problem into Ginyu, unfortunately. And we've charged our Freezers, which really sucks. Ah, oh, Christ. Um, well, he's just waiting for 15, so we're not... We're not throwing anything onto this. Um, but yeah, he, he'll likely be able to clear a battle card here and just pop one. Although it won't restand, actually, because he's not awakened. So we can dedicate our entire next turn to just killing this card. So you'll need to pop the butter. I honestly think we protect. Do we actually? Maybe not. No, I think we do, because we have the Ginyu, right? Does it matter, actually? Maybe it doesn't matter. So hang on, because we would go play this, and then this. Yeah, that's fine. We can just let that die. We don't want to give up our hand advantage here. Raccoon is actually a perfect card. I'm going to charge one of the Jaces. We have we have a lot. So just straight away we'll Raccoon. We'll not take the life. We'll play the Ginyu. Untap the two. And then what I'm actually going to do is attack into this. And we're going to put the uh, this onto it. There's going to be a lot of power going on to this. So we've got 50k going on to 30, which means that a super combo is not enough to get him out. And there's one. That's fine. So we're just going to keep clearing that card. Um, we have no issue with this at all. So we're just going to swing. We'll just combo off the 10. And now we'll just go 30 for 30 constantly. Fine by us. Uh, I think actually though, we are going to do this. Okay, 
So that's fine. We're going to keep that just in case he draws into another one of these. Um, what we're also going to do is Sorbet to replace whatever card we draw. Or sorry, replace that card. And then we'll swing. Um, we'll combo that. And then we'll also combo... Let's combo Jace. So we'll go for 30 again. And that's fine. And then we can just attack him with the last attack. And there we go. So that was all in all. It, it cost us a lot, but at the same time, that cooler is a big, big, big problem for Ginyu. Um, we need to clear it. We absolutely need to get rid of that card. And thankfully, we've been very restrained in the early turns of this game where he doesn't really have a hand, so he can't sacrifice what's in his hand freely. Um, you know, like if, if, if he starts swinging into these here, you know, very few of these we actually care about now. Um, you know, we probably still care about this and the Jace, for example, but, you know, the rest of it we're not all that fussed about. So we have some cards that we can freely combo, like guilt free. Um, whereas some of his combos last turn, I never actually saw, but some of them might have been really, really feels bad. Um, I don't think any of them particularly were, though. I mean, he did draw out a super combo. And he takes a life. She's just giving us this for a five. We'll take. Once again, there's no combo, so we don't need to. And then, yeah. To be fair, I, I'm not really that surprised. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling that we were just going to go pretty ham in the next turn anyway. Um, we were probably going to do the leader ability there as well. I think we played that perfect. I think that's kind of how you have to play into Frieza. Just sometimes you take it slower. You don't always have to be aggressive with their face. Um, we'll do a second game just because that one was pretty quick. I think it was only like 12 minutes or something. Um, so we'll do a second game. Oh, that is a god-ranked player. 3 -130. And we have a mirror match. This is this is the thing that I'm really not looking forward to once we hit... Um... Oh wait, hang on, let's see here. Yeah, we're going to have to change that. This is the thing that I'm not looking forward to about hitting God rank. Because people are just so... They're so... Like, they're at a race, essentially. Like, the ranked ladder, to me, is kind of strange. Where it's like, okay, 20 points a win. And now it's like, people are just playing the fastest deck in the meta, which is Ginyu. That's just what they're doing. And they're using it to climb on repeat. Um, which, again, it makes sense. Because, you know, if they want to get into that top 500 or whatever. But genuinely, when I when I hit God rank, I'm just going to chill, man. Like, I'll, I'll just chill out. I'll put out, obviously, videos still every day. But it's just going to be a mixture like what I have been doing. Um, you know, we'll do one, one day will be Frieza. The next day will be Goku Black. Like, it's not going to matter. Okay. Uh, not a great start. This is honestly our best play. If he saves, he saves. It's fine. Actually, I'm probably going to use the energy marker now. We're going to use the energy marker. Because he's, he's put himself three cards in hand. And if he saves this again, he's down to two. Like... There we go. So, we, we've given up the energy marker there, but aggressively, he's in a much worse place than we are. We have a board with three combo power on the board as well. Uh, yeah. Just thinking about what I wanted to combo there. I get a feeling this is going to be a really defensive matchup. I think that we're going to keep trying to protect our board states. Okay, I'm shocked with that, to be honest. But we're fine with it. And then once again, 
we're just going to swing into the juice. Uh... Honestly, we'll just charge that. It's not going to be great. And if he defends again, we're fine with this. He, he keeps himself at two cards in hand. And he needs cards in hand to get over this. Like, or he needs a 20k battle card to play. So again, we're, we're fine with either scenario. That's fine by us. Completely fine by us. This is just going to be a very slow game. I cannot believe not only does he run that, but I can't believe he's seen two of them. That's crazy. Like, he's probably built this specifically to deal with Ginyu. That's honestly how I feel like he's probably built this deck. Um, I cannot believe he has two of them. Like, I've never seen a Ginyu list where people actually ran that card. Because it's not good in Ginyu. Because obviously you, you've got eight extra cards anyway. Um, that's really, really surprising. Good God, can we stop drawing this card? Uh, right. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not good in our hand right now. It's the worst possible card we could have. Uh, right, okay, so... Play the Zarb one. And it's a Jace. Another Jace. And then we'll just play ours, and then we just pass. We're not attacking. Um, again, we want to keep that hand low. But yeah, I, I've never seen any Ginyu players run that extra card. But if you're, if, if we're talking about what happened... Or, or what I have known is kind of the ladder at the minute, is just people running Ginyu on repeat, essentially, to rush through games as quickly as possible to try and improve their rank points. But if you know you're up against Ginyu, it is a great card into Ginyu. Like, it's such a good card into Ginyu, because it kills anything three or less. Uh, we are not blocking. We will tick. Oh, so we had nothing to play with the Ginyu. Uh, with the Raccoon. Uh, okay, yeah. He's conceding. I, th I think he knows that we're we are just outplaying this. Um, well, I mean, it's two games, two concedes. Um, but yeah, we, we, we were definitely winning that match. Based on what I had in hand as well, I had absolutely no doubt I was going to be able to thrash him. But yeah, so two wins with Ginyu's, two very quick surrenders, pretty much. But that is honestly what you find with Ginyu. It just happens like that quite a lot of the time. Um, again, I think it's another reason why people are using it to climb on the god ladder, just because of how quick the matches actually are. But yeah, um, apologies we didn't actually get like a proper ending of a match. Um, but, you know, you, you've you've probably seen Ginyu on my channel before. You know how, how the deck plays, so... But um, for those for those interested, again, I know it's there's not any change from the last list pretty much, but you can take a look. This is the list we're currently running with. Um, I have been umming and on about potentially putting in some coolers into here. Um, I know that it's a four cost, but cooler I actually love as a card. I think it's so good, and it's great into any yellow mirror match for that matter. So um, it could it could also be good into different matchups like red as well, things like that. You know, we can clear out their two costs and stuff, but. It's, it's definitely still, um, th this deck still works, it's just the issue is Broly. Can this deck beat Broly? And the only way is with this extra card. It's the only way to beat Broly. We need to swing tall constantly. Um, and unfortunately, our hand size tends to be smaller than theirs. So I've, I've never, honestly, I will say this, I've played Ginyu into Broly about four times. I've beat it once, and the other three games didn't even feel close, honestly. They, they just felt like it was way out of my control from... 
the moment they awakened, it was just impossible to break them down. You know, 10, 11 cards in hand, and you just can't do anything at that point. You know, you've maybe got six or seven, and it's like, for every one card you're comboing, they're doing the same, and they're just keeping their advantage over you. Um, so it's, it's a difficult match, but I, I am tempted to put in some coolers, or maybe even the five drop, even just like as a, as a two of or something like that. Um, just as a way for us to, to have access to something that's not Ginyu Force. Um, and is also not a two or a three cost, and is also not only twenty k. Um, but it's it's something it's it's a test, and it's something I'm gonna have to test soon. Um, but if any of you guys have actually tried builds like that, let me know how you got on in the comments, because I'm definitely interested in building in you. I really like the deck. I just I get a bit bored when my matches end like that. <laughs> um, it it seems very one sided when you have a twenty k leader sitting opposite you. Um, but as soon as you hit uh, a twenty five k, that's where you struggle. But Guys, let me know what you think of the list, and uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.